Hello Meisner's Makers, I'm Jody, and today I'm going to show you how to purchase designs off Meisner's website and how to install them on a USB or a direct link to your sewing machine so you can go ahead and get stitching away on your holiday projects. The first thing we're going to do is, is we're going to pull up MeisnerSewing.com. On the opening page you will see a link that says sewing products and a fly window opens up and scroll down all the way to where you see embroidery designs. Click on embroidery designs and you're going to see there's some choices. Today we're going to go over to Embroidery Design Studio. You'll click on that icon and this was what we'll be opening up. Um, it's going to ask you to either register and lo or log in and since I am already uh, registered here I'm going to click my login and I'm going to go ahead and log in because I'm an existing customer but if you're new click on the register and then you'll you'll be prompted to answer questions about who you are and everything else now I'm going to show you how to purchase a design I'm going to click on buy now and I'm going to purchase the poinsettia bowl it says add to my cart I'm going to click on add to my cart if you go up to your right hand you will see upper right you will see where it says one item and there's a little shopping cart and it'll say $19.99 I'm going to click on that a drop down comes out and it says view cart I'm going to click on that and it's going to take me to my shopping cart if you also notice there's a little box that says USD this is all the different ways of you can purchase it but since we're in the United States we're going to use US dollars when you get to this shopping cart window, you're going to notice that there is my design that I purchased, and if you've purchased more than one, all of your designs will be listed here. If I change my mind on a choice, I can come over and remove it from cart. But I'm going to keep that one in, and we're going to go ahead and proceed to checkout. Over here is all of my information of where it's going to be sent to. Then I'm going to hit Next, and it's going to give me a choice of PayPal or credit card and then I would click on which one I wanted to use and I would continue to go to purchase. When I am done purchasing you will get a link and that link you will click on and it will take you and you will download your new design that you just purchased and it will go to exactly where you want it to download to. Um, since I'm really not going to purchase this I will show you how to at this point get a design and load it to your USB stick. Since I have designs that I have purchased from them before, I'm going to where it says My Designs. These are designs that I have purchased in the past. I'm going to click on the format that I want. I own a baby lock, so I'm going to go to a Pez. I'm then going to come and click Download. And it is now downloading to my laptop desktop. It has now finished downloading and I'm going to now log out so that I'm no longer active on that window. Now if you go back to MeisnerSewing.com, purchasing from Anita Good Design is almost the exact same way. Uh, but there's a code that you need to put in when you check out at Anita Good Design. So you can go ahead and select it and copy it or you can go ahead and just write the number down and we're going to do a quick run through on purchasing from Anita Good Design. Again you need to register or sign in and since I do buy from Anita Good Design I I'll just go ahead and log in. I'm going to pretend I'm going to buy that design right there. I'm going to again add it to my cart and in an Anita Good Design they have a little purse up here. If I click on the purse a window comes out and this is my checkout. Now if you notice over on the left hand side there's a coupon code. This is where you want to put in the code that we just copied from the Smizer sewing site. Can, click update cart and then go ahead and do a checkout. This has all the information that I've already submitted and again I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose a, a, using my credit card or my PayPal and I'm going to place my order. Since I'm not going to go ahead and purchase this, I'm going to stop right there. But I'm going to go up to my account. And here is a link that says my library or my order history. 
if I go to my library or, or my order history, it will show what I have purchased in the past. And I can always go back and get any of my designs that I have purchased in the past. And I never have to worry about losing them. They stay on there forever. That is the advantage of going ahead and registering with both of these companies. You always have access to your designs. And this is something that I had purchased about online Alpine House. I have four remaining downloads on it. So since I'm not going to purchase that design, I'm going to, going to go ahead and log out. So now I'm going to show you how to put your design on a USB stick. I have downloaded my design to my desktop and it is sitting right here, but I need to get it on my USB stick so that I can put it into my machine and stitch it out. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to my file explorer and if you notice it'll say USB drive and mine happens to be sitting in my F drive and I am going to take my design which is sitting over here and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it onto my F drive and if you look over here on this side there's my design and I can now exit it out of the machine and put it into my sewing machine and it's ready for me to stitch to accomplish that, I come over here and I click on the safely remove hardware and eject media. And then I said e e eject mass storage. It has now set it safely to remove it. I remove my USB stick and now I can go to my sewing machine and start my project. I am now going to insert my USB stick that I brought over from loading my design off my laptop and I'm going to insert it into my USB port on the side of my sewing machine. I'm currently working on a Destiny 2 and I know this machine will stitch out that big design that I have just downloaded onto my USB stick. We come over here and on the front of the machine there is an icon for a USB so I click that. I come up and the design that we are going to load onto the Destiny 2 is a haunted house. Very appropriate for this time of year. And then we're going to click hit set. We're going to hit embroidery. And this machine is now ready to stitch out our design on the right size. I'd like to thank you today for joining me and teaching you how to purchase a design online and get it over to your sewing machine for stitching out. We look forward to sharing future videos with you, and our next one coming up, we'll be teaching you how to do freestanding lifts. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful stitching day. Bye-bye.